A group of faith leaders recently took extraordinary step to address systemic racism. Last weekend, 15 pastors of predominantly white congregations in Decatur wrote a letter of confession to acknowledge their church's contributions to racial injustice. Reveal investigator Andy Parati asked them to record as they read the letter so the public can hear their message. I'm the pastor at the Common Table uh, in Decatur, Georgia. I serve as pastor of Oakhurst Baptist Church. I am the senior pastor of Gentle Spirit Christian Church. They are clergy of 15 predominantly white congregations from a suburban Atlanta town. The youth pastor at First Baptist Church of Decatur. And they're offering words of repentance, confessing for their church's role of racism in the past. Black Lives Matter. We name this unequivocal truth. Black Lives Matter to God. We speak to you as white ordained leaders of Decatur churches that for generations have sought to be faithful to the gospel of Jesus Christ. However, our beloved churches have fallen short of our call and commission to live fully into Christ's call because we have embraced the self-serving corruption of systemic racism. Too many of our Decatur churches were planted in soil tainted with racism. Too many of our Decatur churches harvested the fruit of that racism. And like too many of our predecessors, we who now serve as your shepherds have been too silent, too complicit in those systems because they benefit us. As the prophet Jeremiah writes, we have treated the wound of God's people carelessly saying peace, peace, when there is no peace. No justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. The recent murders of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd force us to see what our fellow black clergy have long told us, that systemic racism is not only embedded in our city, our state, and our nation, it is also embedded in our churches and in us, your clergy. We have been silent. We will no longer be silent. As white clergy, we must engage in the faithful, ongoing work of dismantling racism, anti-blackness, and white supremacy, beginning with ourselves and our churches. Our posture must be one of humility and decentering. We must listen to and follow the leadership of our black clergy colleagues who have led this work for so long and support their work with our labor and resources. I got a grandfather that marched next to Dr. King in the 60s. Amen. And he was amazing. He would be proud to see us all here. Being anti-racist and pro-justice is not separate from the work of the church. This is the core of the church's work. So we covenant with you to restore all people to unity with God and each other in Christ. Imagine our churches truly living into God's vision for them. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter to God. And they must matter to every one of God's people gathered today in our churches. You can read the entire letter and a list of all the churches and the pastors who participated. It's posted on our website, 11alive.com.